Today, local leaders are announcing a new initiative to tackle kids and gun violence. The state attorney representing Fa Flagler, Volusia, Putnam and St. John's counties announced the new initiative with local sheriffs. He says they're seeing more kids getting arrested for violent crimes. News 6's Catherine Silver tells us all about Operation Young Guns. Arlo! One by one, we watch law enforcement aim and fire. <laughs> Rifles and handguns. <laughs> showing us how firearms are tested as part of the National Integrated Ballistic Information Network. Every gun possesses a unique set of characteristics, much like DNA, fingerprints. It's imprinted on cartridge cases and bullets when it's fired. And that's what Navin is. It's able to compare those. The ATF run program is a key part of a new crackdown in the 7th district called Operation Young Guns, an effort across Flagler, Putnam, St. John's and Volusia, announced Monday with the sheriff from each county in attendance. If you're a little desperado and you think it's cool to get out of a car three o'clock in the afternoon and strafe a house with over 50 rounds with an AK-47, we're coming to get your Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitwood says the operation is an active approach to stopping gun violence involving youth. In the last six months, it's led to 100 arrests in Volusia, more than 200 cases circuit-wide. Just over the weekend, we arrested a young man, 13 years old, for making a threat to shoot up a school. The example is evidence of the problem. The Nibin Network and Operation Young Guns is part of the solution, using ballistic evidence to build a database to solve cases. It's extremely troubling because here's what happens. We, they get the guns migrate. They don't just stay in St. John's County or Volusia County. The state attorney says the links can lead to multiple crimes, some with stolen guns. We've had car breaks where the, the whole purpose is to get guns. He hopes prosecuting each one can break the pattern. You put a gun in your hand and you use it, you're going to be charged as an adult. Law enforcement in all four of these counties say a big part of this is responsible gun ownership. That's keeping guns in safe and secure places. And since they're finding that young people are committing these crimes, they're also encouraging parents to please be involved. In Flagler County, I'm Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6.